Shrekify it. We actually have a special guest today. He should be arriving in three, two, one. So here he is. It is the Shrek Pop. Really great pop. So I'll just leave him right here. So first one is from Zeke the Pop Hunter. Shrekify the Child. So this was an obvious one. I knew this was going to come up. First thing we had to do was cut off his ears because Shrek obviously has those little ears so we cut off baby yoda's ears and then added in some shrek ears and obviously the two greens don't match and it's either i change the ears to look more like the baby yoda green or change baby yoda to more look like the shrek green so i cut his whole head out and then i made it green but then that looked too green so i added a bit of yellow and that's kind of the shrek green but also the ears are in a different type of lighting so i made them a little more green but I did forget to do the hands, so let's just get them in, cut out the nails, cut out the clothes, and then change the color on them too. Also, for this one, his clothes are pretty close to Shrek's, but they're still a little off. So I cut out the tan part and made it more brown, like this part of his clothes. So that's basically it for the actual figure. So I grabbed a background of Shrek's swamp, and then I didn't want it to just be Shrek's house, so I tried to find a photo of Baby Yoda's pod, but there's actually, but I actually couldn't find anything of the pod being empty. So I had to cut out all around Baby Yoda and add a new orange there. And then I had to warp around the rest of Baby Yoda that was still there and clone a bit of stuff to cover up his ears that were sticking out. Then I put Baby Yoda back in front. There's Baby Yoda, Shrekified. Next is from I Hate Everything, try to Shrekify this. Do or do not. There is no try. And it is the NYCC Danny Phantom. So first thing I did with him was cut out the ears to make room for the new Shrek ears. And then I added in the Shrek ears. I did have a little bit of trouble choosing how big these ones should be and where they should be because they looked a little weird where his ears were before. So I moved them more up to where his hair is. And then I selected all of his face and made him that Shrek green. And then for this one, I cut out the nose of the Shrek photo that I was using, put it onto Danny Phantom's nose, and then I then I loaded a selection around, then I made a selection around that nose, and then I made the opacity on that zero so I could see through it into Danny Phantom, and then I stretched out his nose to the borders of Shrek's nose. And then it made it look still like a pop nose, but more like Shrek's nose. And then I changed his eyebrows to be more like Shrek's eyebrows making them more of a brown color. So that's basically it for the figure. Added in the Shrek Swamp background. Got a building from Danny Phantom. It was too thin, so it kind of hid behind. So it kind of was covered by Danny, so I just stretched it out a bit. Looks pretty weird, but you gotta do what you gotta do. There's Danny Phantom, Shrekified. Next one is from Harrison. I knew this one would come eventually. Shrekify Shrek. Obviously, there already is a Shrek Pop, so I need to Shrekify it. Well, I just decided to take this as make a better Shrek Pop. Which, I don't know if I did, but first thing I did was cut off his ears, because they're honestly pretty small. I added the Shrek ears from the actual movie. And then I sh warped his head shape a little bit, because it looks too boxy for Shrek. I'm still not a fan of this one's nose shape. So I added on the real Shrek's nose and then made a selection around it and then warped out his nose. Then I changed the green a little bit to make it look more like Shrek. And then I added a little smiling mouth. I don't know, some pops have mouths. I, I, don't, know if, I don't know if this was a good idea, but it just adds a little more to the figure. Then I changed the color of his clothes a little bit. And then I just added the Shrek Swamp background. I don't know. Yeah, this pro this looks a lot worse. But I felt like I kind of had to Shrekify Shrek. There's Shrek, Shrekified. Next one is from Movies and Train Studios, Shrekify Donkey. I also thought this one would come up. So this was actually a pretty fun one. I do like how it turned out. But first thing I did, obviously, was cutting out the ears so we could replace them with Shrek ears. And that's what we did, replace them with Shrek ears. 
And then I got every single part of Donkey except for his mouth, hooves, and hair, and made it green. I just bumped up the green and then bumped up the yellow, and it seemed to match the ears well enough. And then I warped his face onto the ears a bit. And then I don't know why, but I thought he shouldn't have that much hair. He's an ogre. I did. I smushed it down into his head a little bit. I don't know. I thought an ogre wouldn't have very much hair. Then I added the swamp background, and there was no house for me to use for him. I, I think it makes sense for him to just have the swamp, too. There's Donkey Shrekified. Next one is from Noel the Pop Hunter. He submitted Dwight. So this is a cool one, Shrekifying Dwight. First thing I did for this one is actually not cutting out the ears. I selected all of Dwight's skin, and then I made it the Shrek green. One problem I did have with this is that I was using the auto selection, so there were a few problems where I didn't get some spots. Only on this one, though, I'm surprised I got lucky. And then, of course, I did cut out his ears, and then I added in the Shrek ears. I added in one Shrek ear, and then I copy and pasted it and flipped it and put it on the other side. But then I plopped in the Shrek swamp, and then I got a picture of the Dunder Mifflin building, cut it out, and then warped the edges just to make it look right, and then I added Dwight on. There's Dwight Shrekified. Next one is from Adam Tron, Kool-Aid Man. So this was actually a pretty fun one. So first thing I did for this one was select all of the red parts and then, then I made them a little more yellow. And here's something fun I did. After I selected all of that, I changed the hue, Rainbow Kool-Aid Man, so here's that. But then I did find the right green and then I cut out one of Shrek's ears, put it on, copy and pasted it, and then flipped it. And for this one, I did want his ear to go in front of the handle. One, because it would be pretty hard to put it behind the handle, because the handle is supposed to be clear. So that would be pretty hard. Then I warped it on the side, and this one, the ears, I think did look better. They looked more like they were actually part of it. And then I cut out Shrek's nose, copy and pasted it, put it onto the Kool-Aid Man, loaded a new selection around it, and then I lowered the opacity and then stretched out Kool-Aid's man's nose that I've never noticed existed before until now. And then I just dragged it out. He did look like Shrek, but he didn't feel like he was Shrek. So I was using a photo I was using this photo right here where he was doing this thing. So I added that to the pop. Then I plopped in the swamp background and I used one of the Kool-Aid things that comes with all the Kool-Aid stuff in it and used that as his house. And there's Kool-Aid Man Shrekified. Last one here is from Big Stinky Nerd, Shrekified Grumpy Cat. He's even more grumpy than when Shrek lost his swamp. But first thing I did was I cut out most of Grumpy Cat's fur. I didn't do the white parts because I thought just keep them white to have it more, uh, to have more contrast instead of just turning the whole thing green. Then I cut out Grumpy Cat's ears and added in the new Shrek ears. And again, this was one where I struggled to where I should place them. I put them on a different part of Grumpy Cat to like have them like right here coming out. But then I just put them behind Grumpy Cat. But then I did actually go back to having them right here on the line where it changes color and then I just morphed it in now this one for the nose it was pretty weird I did the same thing where I grabbed Shrek's nose and use it as a template but this time it was a little different because the pink nose connects to the mouth but this time it was a little different because the cats because grumpy cat's nose connects to the mouth so there was a little bit of a struggle with that the nose actually went under another one of the layers so I had to copy and paste that separately and then move it above. But that's about it for the figure. So then I dragged in a cat bed. And the grumpy cat pop actually sat surprisingly well in the bed. Like it looked very realistic. But then I added in the swamp background. And then I stretched out the cat bed to kind of block Shrek's house. So there's grumpy cat Shrekified. And those are all of the pops that I'll be doing today. But for the next GNA, I want you to send me a pop, and instead of Shrekifying it, 
I'm gonna Freddy-fy it. Like the mascot of Funko Freddy Funko. I got this idea from the Box of Fun. So you send me a pop of a character and I'll make a Freddy Funko out of it.